um, theosophy, right? Mm-hmm. And and sort of, and does this therefore does this um, connect to the, this group of people that I've been showing you about, like in the spoilers for Fire and Three Houses, um, the Agarthans, right? The people who live in Shambhala, this ancient, this which is uh, like Agartha, this ancient underground city. And they and and they and they when they want to end, the, they believe that the world has been flooded in despair, and only they will, can bring things back. I believe mm-hmm. the, to bring uh, Maitreya back. Is that correct? Right. Maitreya yeah. Maitre- yeah. is the next. Bo- this is separate game. This right. is not. The, this is separate creators. Uh-huh. But to, Maitreya is the figure that would come out after the war with at the end of the Kala Chakra. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Yeah, and and this the, you know it's the general theme of kind of lost wisdom that will rescue the the current over technologized over uh, militarized uh, you know over materialized world is a very common theme in theosophy and also a common theme in how westerners have tended to view asian religious traditions yeah these are like and the, but the funny thing about the agarthans is that they is that they're named after Greek philosophers. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's that's completely theosophy, right? Yeah, they, theosophy they, just threw everything but the kitchen sink in. You know, anything that seemed kind of remote and exotic that they could that they could amalgamate together, uh, they would do. And I th- and I feel like in, in, in my analysis, I basically said like I think this is sort of an anti-fascism because you have these people who who are sort of against the the, the church, mm-hmm. against the church, and they want to bring things back. They want to say that this is like the false god and. And they're and they're and it's sort of like this fetishization because, in reality, the to make the story short, it's the church, but it's also could basically could maybe be Egyptian in the Egyptian religion, and 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 in reality the Greek philosophers like the Egyptian religion, so this is maybe like a an idea of, of so how does this a renunciation of, a, 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 a sort of renunciation of this sort of both Western and Eastern search for Shambhala. Mm. Search for Shambhala. Search for this master race. Because isn't there a history of the Nazis with Shambhala and like the, the white supremacy? Yeah, I mean the the Nazis were very enamored of, of a certain representation of, of uh, the East, and you know the swastika is actually a, a, a three thousand year old or more symbol of auspiciousness. Mm-hmm. And you know there's I mean there's a whole history of, of languages that they spread throughout this whole Indo-European languages that they spread throughout all of. Uh, Europe and, and down to Persia and, and you know the Nazi interpretation of that was well there was this one pure little race that then you know got together with the riffraff and, and you know, became impure and we're try, trying to search for that pure race and you know I mean the, the more reasonable interpretation is all these people from you know India to Persia to uh, now Iran to all the countries in Europe are all like cousins. All right.